the evolutionary model holds that modern groups of reptile have not always existed. And long before reptiles, there would have been simpler animals from which the reptiles evolved. In contrast, the creationist model holds that all modern reptiles have always existed. So at every point in Earth's history since, say, the worst first week of life or so, there have always been snakes, there have always been lizards, there have always been crocodiles, and there have always been turtles. These groups of animals are common enough that this should be an easy hypothesis to test. If turtles and snakes and lizards and crocodiles existed in the Devonian period or the Silurian period or the Permian period, then sooner or later we should find fossils of uh, these uh, groups and every single modern kind potentially. And so this is an easy hypothesis to test. There is not a single fossil of a reptile known from the Precambrian era, nor from the Cambrian, Silurian, or Devician, or Devonian periods. So the vast majority of Earth's history passed without a single reptile. While the first reptiles uh, evolved in the Carboniferous period, there are no fossils of modern reptiles known from that period. By the ven very end of the Permian period, there are fossils of primitive lizard known, but no modern kinds of lizard. All of the other groups of reptiles, the turtles, the crocodiles, and the snakes, are first known from the Mesozoic era, a hundred million years after the first reptiles evolved. Even when turtles or crocodiles or snakes are known, uh, millions of years pass before any modern groups of turtle, crocodile, and snakes are found in the fossil record.